Hi, and welcome to the Sustainable Library 5-Minute Honest Review. Basically, this is just me giving you a very quick 5-minute review of products or types of products or brands that I have been using and I have been testing and basically just sharing my experience of these products and brands with you. Full disclaimer, none of these products are sponsored or gifted to me. They're all products that I have bought myself and if I'm recommending it, it's because they worked for me. Also, some of these products will be UK-based products and others will be South African products. I will say that at the beginning of each of my reviews and also I will add a little bit of information in the description for you to go and have a look at if you want to know more about these products. So today we're talking about natural deodorants and specifically about comparing a solid a natural deodorant to a cream or a mousse deodorant. First things first, to look out when you're using a natural deodorant. Make sure it's paraben free and aluminium free because these are the things that clog up your sweat glands and that's what you don't want. That's what the non-natural deodorants have in them. Um, also, very important when you're looking for any product is try to stay as local as possible. So both of these are UK based brands. However, I do know you also get similar brands all over the world. I tried this um, solid deodorant first um, and I've been using it for a while. However, even though I thought that a solid deodorant is better because that's what we're kind of used to, I didn't find this to provide me with the amount of protection or sweat resistance that I needed, especially in the summer months. I'm quite an active person, so it just didn't work for me. However, I tried this um, cream or mousse deodorant in the heat of summer in South Africa, a uh, high 30 degrees Celsius, and it worked amazing. It smells amazing, you only use a little bit, and it's really good for sensitive skin. So basically, it's, this is what it looks like in terms of a cream, and you just take a little bit and add it to your underarms. And um, even though you would think it's maybe a little bit gross or it's gonna make your hands sticky, it doesn't at all. It basically just is like a cream. Another reason why I actually really like these cream or mousse deodorants um, compared to the solid ones is that most of the solid ones come in packaging similar to this, which is cardboard. However, it's also cardboard wrapped in plastic. So sometimes they'll say it's biodegradable plastics. However, biodegradable is a very uh, interesting term. Uh, so because this has plastic on it, any form of plastic, whether it's biodegradable or not, um, it means it can't go into your normal recycling because it can't be separated. If you're trying to do more zero waste, this is not the way to go. However, the cream um, deodorants uh, usually come in these really nice little tins, uh, which firstly can get reused because they're really cute, but they can also be fully recycled in your normal home recycling. So just another reason why I think comparing these two, I would go for the cream deodorant. My final verdict is if you're looking for a deodorant that really works in warm temperatures, is good for sensitive skin, and that lets you um, live a more zero waste, packaging free kind of life, I would 100% go for a cream uh, deodorant like this one. This is my choice between the two. Whew. So that was actually a under five minute review, which is great. Um, and it just means that I was able to say everything I wanted to, to you guys in less than five minutes. <laughs> so um, this is just the first in a whole series of reviews that I'm gonna do about all kinds of different products. But really, please let me know what you think. Have you tried any of these kind of products? Have you tried natural deodorants? What do you think? Um, and if there are any products that you would like me to review or you'd like to know more about, let me know. I am very open to trying all kinds of new products and brands and seeing what's out there in the world of sustainability, eco-friendly and natural brands and products. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again.
Until next time, bye. Hope you guys enjoyed.